From A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Spectre, said Scrooge, something informs me that our parting moment is at hand. I know it, but I know not how. Tell me, what man was that, with, with the covered face, whom we saw lying dead? The ghost of Christmas yet to come conveyed him to a dismal, wretched, ruinous churchyard. The spirit stood among the graves and pointed down to one. Before I draw nearer to that stone to which you point, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of the things that will be, or are they shadows of the things that may be only? Still the ghost pointed downward to the grave by which it stood. Men's courses will foreshadow certain ends, to which, if persevered in, they must lead. But if the courses be departed from, the ends will change. Say it is thus with what you show me. The spirit was immovable as ever. Scrooge crept toward it, trembling as he went, following the finger until he could read the name upon the headstone of the neglected grave. No! His own name. R.I.P. Ebenezer Scrooge. Then I was the man who lay upon that bare bed. The finger pointed at his heart and said more loudly than any word, Yes. Spirit, hear me! I am not the man I once was! I will not be the man I would have been if not for this lesson! Why show me this if I am past all hope? For the first time, the finger appeared to shake. Good spirit, your nature pities me! Assure me that I may yet change these shadows you have shown me by altering my life! The kind hand trembled. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, present, and future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons they have taught. Oh, tell me, tell me that I may erase the writing on this stone. In his agony, Scrooge caught the spectral hand. It sought to free itself, but he was strong in his entreaty. Tell me! And the phantom shrunk, collapsed, Tell me, and dwindled down into a bedpost. A Christmas Carol, Scrooge and Marley, by Israel Horovitz, from A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Spectre, something informs me that our parting moment is at hand. I know it, but I know not how I know it. Future points to the other side of the stage. Lights out on Cratchits. Future moves slowing, gliding. Scrooge follows. Future points opposite. Future leads Scrooge to a wall and a tombstone. He points to the stone. Am I that man those ghoulish parasites so gloated over? Before I draw nearer to that stone to which you point, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of things that will be, or the shadows of things that may be only? Future points to the gravestone. Marley appears in Lightwell, upstage. He points to grave as well. Gravestone turns front and grows to ten feet high. Words upon it. Ebenezer Scrooge. Much smoke billows now from the grave. Choral music here. Scrooge stands looking up at gravestone. Future does not at all reply in mortal's words, but points once more to the gravestone. The stone undulates and glows. Music plays, beckoning Scrooge. Scrooge reeling in terror. Oh, no, spirit! Oh, no, no! Future's finger still pointing. Spirit, hear me. I am not the man I was. I will not be the man I would have been, but for this intercourse. Why show me this if I am past all hope? Future considers Scrooge's logic. His hand wavers. Oh, good spirit, I see... By your wavering hand, that your good nature intercedes for me and pities me. 
assure me that I yet may change these shadows that you have shown me by an altered life. Future's hand trembles. Pointing has stopped. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach. Oh, tell me that I may sponge away the writing that is upon this stone. Scrooge makes a desperate stab at grabbing Future's hand. He holds firm for a moment, but Future, stronger than Scrooge, pulls away. Scrooge is on his knees, praying. Spirit, dear spirit, I am praying before you. Give me a sign that all is possible. Give me a sign that all hope for me is not lost. Oh, spirit, kind spirit. I beseech thee, give me a sign. Future deliquesces slowly, gently. The phantom's hood and robe drop gracefully to the ground in a small heap. Music in. There is nothing in them. They are mortal cloth. The spirit is elsewhere. Scrooge has his sign. Scrooge is alone. Tableau. The lights fade to black. From a Christmas Carol, by Marvel Comics. Spirit, something informs me that our parting moment is at hand. Tiny Tim has, has died. But please tell me, who was the man we saw lying dead? A churchyard, a worthy place indeed to learn the wretched man's name. Before I draw nearer to the stone at which you point, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of things that will be, or are they the shadows of things that only might be? Still, the ghost pointed downward to the grave. The courses of men's lives foreshadow certain ends to which they must lead. But if the courses be departed from, the ends will change. Say it is thus with what you show me. The spirit was immovable as ever. And so Scrooge crept toward it, trembling as he went, following the finger until he could read the name upon the headstone of the neglected grave. No! His own name. R.I.P. Ebenezer Scrooge. Then I was the man who lay upon that bare bed. The finger pointed at his heart and said more loudly than any word, Yes. Spirit, hear me. I am not the man I once was. I will not be the man I would have been if not for this lesson. Why show me this if I am past all hope? For the first time, the finger appeared to shake. Good spirit, your nature pities me. Assure me that I may yet change these shadows you have shown me by altering my life. The kind hand trembled. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, present, and future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons they have taught. Oh, tell me, tell me that I may erase the writing on this stone. In his agony, Scrooge caught the spectral hand. It sought to free itself, but he was strong in his entreaty. Tell me! And the phantom shrunk, collapsed, Tell me, and dwindled down into a bedpost. A, a bedpost? 